guys what's up this is it back to you with active with another fifa video and today okay so uh, as most of you would have noticed the new team of the week event is live and uh, well there's a good news and a bad news so let's get right into the video okay so uh, the good news is it's better than the previous one. The bad news, on the other hand, is no free-to-play player is probably gonna get the player of the month. I mean, at least not for a couple of months. I'll explain everything in detail. First, let's see the packs in the store. So uh, this is the five and few point pack, and they've reduced the number of players you're gonna get to one gold and one silver, but they've increased the team of the week points and that's good I guess and they've also reduced a new token the elite team of the week point so uh, okay so let me tell you what they are now ES change the system you don't actually need to play this event to get players instead you can play this event and you get team of the week points and you can use these points to redeem players for instance this parasitch costs 2100 team of the week points or two elite tokens as you can see, I have a couple of some points and no tokens. The tokens are kind of rare and you don't really get them. But let me just explain this. So, uh, the reward system is basically the same. You, get, you, get, you have to collect all silver reserves. But then you get 50 points. And then you can get all gold reserves. And you get some more. And then you get all starter goals. Then you get this. And then finally, you get one elite and you get player of the month token. Now, uh, I don't know what the reward is going to be at the end of the month, like if, if, if the system is same, then uh, it might be worth collecting one player of the month token. Uh, let me explain to you how that will work. So you can play this event, so these are two events, this is the first one and this is the second one. Now you can play this one every 6 hours, which means you can play this 4 times every day. And then there's this one, you can play this once every day. Now. Uh, you get 50 team of the week points for this so uh, if you manage to play it four times in a day which is completely possible uh, you'll get 200 points from this and you get 200 points from this every day which is equal to 400 points now this event is available for six days every week so six into four you get 2400 points per week now with 2400 po now let me tell you what's going to cost you to get a player of the month so these silvers cost 50 each and these golds cost 150 each which makes 200 for the pair which is equal to into 5 makes 1000 points now once you have th once you have 1000 points you can redeem all of these players and that is assuming you don't get any of these from this event or this event so there's that now let's say you get all of them for 1000 points once you redeem them, you'll get 50 points back and 100 points, 150 points and 100 points back. So a total of 150 points will be returned to you. Now, once you're done with these, you'll have 150 points. Now, you need to get all the gold players to 500 points. This one is for 650 points. This one is for 650 again. This one for 600 and this one for 700. So 650, 650, 1300, 700, 700, 600, 1300, 2600 and uh, this one's for 500 which makes it 3100. So you're gonna need 3100 points to get all the gold players. Once you get all of these players, you get all the 5 gold starters, you get 200 more points back. And so we already know we have 150 points, we're gonna get back and then 200. So we're gonna get 350 points back and we are gonna have to spend 1000 here. 3100 here so 4100 points are going to be spent just to get these players back and we get 350 points back now after that we need one gold player so let's see which of them is the lowest rate gold player mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's either going to be this guy which costs 2100 points or him so any one of them will do so 2100 points now uh, we were at 4100 plus 2100 which gives us 6200 points that's what we're gonna need and we get 50 points back so basically 5850 points is what we're gonna need 
Now, uh, that's a lot of points. And now let's calculate how much we're gonna get per week. So, 2400, right? That's what I said. So, okay, so we'll be getting 2400 per week, but we need to spend a lot more. So, maybe in about three weeks, you'll be able to get one player of the month token, which is okay, I guess. It's better than the last time. I mean, it was totally on your luck last time. I mean, there was no way to guarantee a team of free token. You just had to grind the event and hope to get a mini and get all the other goals, which is kind of difficult. But, anyways, so uh, you can get basically you can get one or or check this out. You can uh, basically not use any of your points. These team of weak points. Uh, the ones you get, team of week points, these carry over to the next week. So, as you can see, I have 553 as of today. If you save for about two to three months, you will be able to get enough tokens for one player of the month. And that is assuming it still costs three player of the month tokens to get a player of the month. I think EA will keep the same thing since they've changed uh, the system, but I hope they do. Uh, and it's also fine to just get one player of the month token and exchange it for the 500 skill boosts or 2.5 million that 2.5 million coins is also a good thing to spend it on or you can spend it on 300k training xp all of them are good choices so okay uh, by the way i also wanted to show you guys a couple of players so um, if you want a striker he Mabry is a pretty good one uh, he's got amazing stats uh, roughly all around the board so uh, you can go with Navi if you want a striker pretty decent stats and then there's this common uh, I'm thinking I'll go for him not sure yet but I'll have to see how many points I save up till then week but anyways guys uh, that's it for the video uh, this is everything you need to know about the team of the week I'll see you guys later peace